Despite talks to promote a ceasefire, civilians are still under attack in Ukraine. Hundreds of thousands are fleeing to nearby countries seeking refuge. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with the dire conditions for so many people tonight. Nick. Dire indeed, Maurice, but the Russian military continues to open fire on Ukrainian civilians. You're about to see a disturbing and graphic piece of video of an explosion that killed refugees and what appears to be a soldier. It demonstrates just how horrifying it's been for the Ukrainian people. This explosion took the lives of eight people who were leaving a civilian evacuation site in Irpin. There are new fears that thousands could die if Russia continues to fire indiscriminately. In ceasefire talks, Ukraine dismissed a Russian proposal to open up evacuation lanes because they would lead not to the West, but back to Russia and its ally, Belarus. Polish authorities confirmed on Monday that more than one million Ukrainian refugees had arrived since the start of the Russian invasion. Yana says she hid in her basement with her three children for eight days before they made it out. But she had to leave her husband behind, who has to fight. She says the children don't understand. They think their dad will join them soon and that everything will be all right. But some children remain in Ukraine. 33 orphans have been hiding in a basement in a city near Kyiv, and they've been there for a week. And the mayor of Kyiv visited a maternity ward. Life goes on. 82 kids were born just in this hospital since the beginning of the war. More Ukrainians are coming up and will arrive daily. Some Ukrainian Jews were able to get a flight to Israel, a few hoping their husbands could soon join them. I really hope he'll, uh, he can come with, uh, to us. But he is helping right now, and I hope it will uh, stop soon and we can be together. Ukrainian President Zelensky released a new video calling on the U.S. and all Western allies to ban the importation of Russian oil to put further economic pressure on Vladimir Putin. We need the world to stand with us, not just like Twitter hashtags, but like really come here and stand with us. Now, just a few minutes ago, we learned that Russia is looking for a ceasefire in five Ukrainian cities, including Kyiv, Kharkiv, and Mariupol. But so far, each ceasefire has not held. And Christine Reese, it's not clear where this is going. We've heard this before. We sure have. Thank you, Dick. All right.